probably already know me. My name is Samantha Matterham. I go to Valley Christian High School. I'm a junior. And this spring break, I had the opportunity to go to Curacao through the Engage trip, the Engage program at my school. Um, Curacao is a small island off the coast of Venezuela, and I was there for a week. I was asked by Pastor Andy to speak about my experience there, and so that's what I'm here to do. So, we're going to take it day by day. <laughs> so the first day we arrived there was a Friday. We arrived Friday at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and so we're working with a church, and specifically like the youth leader of that church, and so there were some kids there already that we were able to play with um, and talk to. And then that night, they have youth group every Friday and Saturday, so we went to youth group with them on Friday. Um, they played a lot of games, it was very fun, um, and we had a time where we had to share about what Jesus meant to us, and it was very, it was very fun to hear about other people who also share my faith and my beliefs, even though they live on like a different island that I never heard of before now. Um, so that was really impactful and something that I'm definitely going to carry carry with me as I go forwards in life. Um, Saturday, the church is currently building like a new, a new like awning where people can like have like like a sanctuary but like outside and so we helped them because the cement people came that day so we helped them kind of get that taken care of um, and then we went to the youth group again at night which was more of the same thing and then on Sunday we went to church church was mostly in Dutch because there's a lot of Dutch people on the island um, so we had a translator not very easy to hear, but we tried. Um, yeah, and then after church, we went to a beach and we got to swim and play around with a ton of kids who were probably like first grade, kindergarten and under. Um, none of them spoke English. They all spoke Papamiantu, which is the main language on the island. Um, most people on the island speak Papamiantu, Dutch, and English, but English is like a third language learned at school, so none of them spoke English. Um, that was kind of difficult to get over the language barrier, but it was also not that difficult because, I mean, they're kids and you play around with them. We had like pool noodles and pool toys and stuff. And so even, we, even though we couldn't understand each other, we could still swim around and have a good time. Uh, and we played kickball with them at the end, which was really fun. Um, yeah, and then Monday, so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we spent the afternoon working at, uh, this is a woman named Hedda who sets up these old like storage containers for teen moms to live there. And she teaches them kind of like how to parent and then how to like cook and like take care of themselves and their kids. So in the afternoons, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, that's where we worked. We built a porch for one of the containers, for one of the houses, and then the next day we kind of finished that up and then started planning on, she wanted to build like a kitchen for them so that they, she could teach them how to cook and, and you know, not just cook in her own house but have their own kitchen. And so Tuesday we planned that out and then Wednesday we sort of executed it and we finished up the floor. Um, it was three days of working hard, um, but I feel like I got to like sort of bond, I guess, with the people that I was there with, and then it was just really impactful to be like build, like be like building like a porch for someone that they're going to use like for a long time, and it was really really impactful just to see that like that sort of environment. There's a lot of, there's, unfortunately, there's a lot of, like, teen moms on the island, and it was just really cool to see someone who was working to get them a better life, and then to be able to help provide that outcome for them. Um, and then Thursday, after working so hard, we had a day of just fun, 
we went to an even smaller island off the coast of Curacao called Klein Curacao. Um, there were a lot of little hermit crabs that were like crawling around all the all the area, which was really cool. It was just a really gorgeous beach, and it was a really fun day of just relaxing and getting to know the people I was there with. Um, and then Friday, so Friday we kind of helped pick up like the churchyard a little bit, and yeah, that was that was the day where um, we started to hear more about Corona in America, which there was no Corona on Curacao the entire time we were there, which was amazing, but it was just kind of scary to know that all that was going on and not to know specifics of that or, you know, like, should I be concerned or anything? Like, are we going to be able to get back into the country? Became a concern later on. Um, and so I think that was an experience that sort of helped me, helped bring me closer to God, just being like, like I really had to put like my trust and my faith in him because this was completely out of my control. Um, and then Saturday, we helped expand kind of the church playground. So we brought in some new equipment for them. And then while we were working, I got to talk to this lady, pretty sure her name was Samsa. She was really fun to talk to. Um, and so that was fun just to get to know more people who were like on the island and who had lived there and grown up there um, and kind of hear like their, like her experience and her, her life up to that point. Um, and then the last day was Sunday. We went to church again and then we pretty much went straight from church. We had a quick lunch and then we went to the airport, took the long flights back home. Um, and then, yeah, overall thoughts on the trip. I mean, it was an incredible experience. I would totally go again. It was really fun to kind of get to know some of, my, some of my classmates better. And then just to see like the church overall, like not just like Phoenix Christian, but like there's more to just the church that I'm in, um, which I feel like is something that like I've heard about, you know, like obviously like the global Christian church, but it was cool to see it just like in person. Um, I think that was really something that was like important to my faith to see that there were like other people out there who shared my my beliefs and my faith. Um, and then I again I've mentioned this before, but I was really impacted by the woman who set up the storage units for the teen moms on Curacao. Um, that was something that was very impactful for me to go through um, and it's definitely something I'm going to carry with me as I continue in you know in life in general and then in my faith journey um, yeah <laughs> this trip was really fun I'm really grateful for my school for allowing me a way to go on this trip and then for everyone who donated money to help get me there. Um, I'm very grateful to you and for this experience. Thank you. <laughs>